What is up, YouTube? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot playing some Farming Simulator 22. We're back on Four Legs by Stevie. Let's get to it. I mean, I only have to push like two buttons to like do that, you know, or one. Really, it's one button, kind of two. We're gonna bring in Teamspeak as well. We'll talk to Mr. Bear, and let's see who else is around. I don't know who else is gonna be here tonight, but we'll see. <laughs> wow, trips. What's up, Bear? What's going on? Ooh, frames. That's what's going on. They're not good. Uh, lack up, maybe? Ooh, 22. I think I have to reload my shaders after messing with my settings today. That's probably what it is. Because uh, when I started like a like a single-player game today, it was a brutal. But after a few minutes, it kind of calmed down. So, chat, I messed with some stuff today, so hopefully it's fine. That's just what you want to hear from your favorite streamer. I mess with a bunch of things, and eh, it'll be fine. Lock screen is a 560. What does that mean? Drag says, what's up? Oh, we can't go that way. There's stuff in the way. Hey, but once it calms down, Bear, I'm getting, like, like frames. Especially if I look away from the homestead. I was getting, like, 120 earlier today. Ooh. I know. Homestead's a, like, there's a lot in this homestead. Let's just be honest, you know? Well, it's, a, it's a Stevie map, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So. Uh huh. That's a given. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Panther, what's up? How's it going? All right, let's uh, kick this guy off right here, and then we'll go find this guy. We're gonna change this because I'm not driving the 4755 on the auger wagon when we have an 8R on a little tipper. That's not happening. We're going to change these. But yes, Trent, he was like close to a tornado. He was in a tornado today. His ears were popping and everything. Did I change the DLSS? So what I did is I went in and just changed everything down to like medium and then back to very high and then changed my beacons and that's it. I'm sixty international. Nice. Because I've been... I feel like this game just, I don't know, man. For some reason, it changed a whole bunch of settings that I don't ever remember changing. So hopefully it runs better tonight. There was 90 frames inside. Well, 87 frames looking at the homestead. I'm here for that. I'm here for it. All right. Um, oh, need to back up to it. Here we go. Let's do it. I don't know, Trent. It seems like things are running okay. Uh, shaders were a thing at first, I feel like, but since then, it feel I feel like things are better. Yeah, I haven't played much though. I was just kind of messing around today. I actually was looking at mods today in the mod hub. Sorry, the downloadable content section. And I came across, um, there's a John Deere VT in there. That looks pretty sick. And a John Deere Cedar. And I was going to add them to the server, but then I remembered that we're poor and I don't want to be tempted to buy something that we really don't need right now. But yeah, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome. Right. I'm just kind of wondering if it would get rid of Buffy Angelo just resubscribed for 59 months. Not get rid of Buffy Angelo, but if it would get rid of some of the like the, the the ghosting that I get behind my equipment. Usually that kicks in after a little while, so we'll see. Buffy Angelo, thanks for the 59 month resub. Welcome back. How's it going? What's money? I don't know. We don't have any sand. Clearly. When's poppin'? Keegan, what's up? How you doing today? Isaac? What's that? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Interesting. 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 We are playing Four Lakes. You betcha. We are playing Four Lakes. Uh, special bet, yes. 
Keegan, I'm doing great. Uh, Sand Camp, when you uh, disappear for dinner or whatever, can you put your guy on auto drive as well, please? Field, uh, field eight. Thank you. Which is totally in John's way, but if he just waits two seconds, I'll get this guy full and he'll just drive out of the way, I swear. <laughs> kind of in John's way right now, though. That's all right. We'll make do. Okay, it might be more than two seconds, but that's okay. But the weather in railroads chat, by the way, I checked out the new update last night. The one that's in like beta still. The weather. I put it on to a sandstorm. Okay. Sandstorm. I couldn't see like three cars behind my engine. It was awesome. And I got frame rate during during that too. It was crazy because you're not rendering really? in like anything. Uh, yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the point, right? It's yeah. You would think with all that going around, it would it would maybe even you know it would be an opposite it was effect. But beautiful. The grass is beautiful. The flowers. The railroad ties. Like you can see the grain and the railroad ties. Like. Ooh. Farmer Ryan playing some hagen as I like to call it. That's the map that got you into 22 back in the day. Nice. Or into farms in back in the day. Kind of mine too, honestly. The weather was awesome, Trent. Yeah. Like the Xbox. Wow. Where's that other tipper at? Is he, he's stuck. Tipper. Ah! Hi, Black Cat. Thanks for the for the for the bits. Really um, appreciate them. How how's it going? Hello there. We're gonna really make this corner like. There we go. Hopefully it'll make the corner now, chat. Hopefully. All right. There we go. See. Oh, yeah, 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 Trent. Yeah, I was messing with my graphic settings on there, and I turned them all the way down to, like, well, potato. And then turned them all the way up to, like, really nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Plugger, what's going on? Hello, how are you? Welcome in. John, you're going to get full for a minute. Just, you know. Be aware. Waiting on tippers. One was stuck. I think now that he's unstuck, hopefully things will be working better. Hopefully. We don't have any other tippers, right? We don't really have any tractors either. We got Parsons little DOT tractor. And we have it. Tomcat, thanks to the bits. Since we're not going in the field with these, we can, you know. Buffy Angelo cheered Dex 100. Buffy Angelo, thanks for the 100 and triggering a hype train as well. Thanks for that. Do appreciate it. All right. Apparently this dude's coming around the field this way. Not really sure why, but he is. It'll be fine. All right, we just just need some tempers right now. That's all. We'll be all right here in a minute, though. I swear. Oh wait, does that mod not work with this trailer? The steering mod. I don't think it works with this one. Huh. Interesting. The more you know. Uh, Joe Astro and Z, what's up? How you doing today? Welcome in. Come in. How's, uh, how's New Zealand? How is New Zealand? All right, sir. Okay, you're going to stop right there. All right. Didn't really think you would approach from this uh, side, but that's... Uh, so okay, Apparently, we're all going to do that. Okay. All right. 
fine. Don't know how they're gonna empty out of here. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. So, chat, how about that weather between last night and today? Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, y'all. Just saying. And we kept watching all the tornado warnings last night for they were kind of in Carson's neighborhood, but not like close enough. But they were close, you know. Just saying. Right. Your first week back at work. Gotcha, Joe. Gotcha. Blood watch for Saturday and Sunday, Chuck. Holy cow. Interesting. Um, there's something I was going to say about it and I can't remember. Can't remember at all. Oh, today for some reason, chat, three times. A tornado siren in my neighborhood went off. But not like all the way off, but just like a little bit. Like it didn't wind up all the way. It's like they hit the button and then immediately turned it back off. It was kind of weird. Did they have testing for it today? No. So they test ours once a month and then there is like a tornado awareness day or tornado readiness day in Missouri or whatever. And that's like when they, all, the, all the schools do their drills and stuff, you know? But that's like in the morning. That's not just like the middle of the day. It was like this afternoon. And normally when they test them, like, they fire them up. Like, they let them rip, you know? Right. So, I don't know what that was. I think they were, like, messing up or there was a squirrel chewing wires or something. I don't know. But it was it was not right, whatever was going on there. Uh, Joe, you're thinking about getting Satisfactory? Uh, I do recommend the game. Uh, however, we actually, several of us are very disappointed with it right now. Uh, we had a server going up until Monday. And, uh, well, things happen and we're not playing it anymore. So, uh, we will go back to it though. That is a incredibly fun game and, uh, it's really good in multiplayer. It's not okay. It's, it's fun in multiplayer. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's good. It's fun. There is a difference. So a little disappointed with the game right now, but like I said, we'll get back to it at some point. It's and, unfortunate. But hopefully, yeah. hopefully with some updates and some tweaks, they'll, yep. you know. Hopefully when they go to Unreal 5, it fixes the issues that we're having and life will get better, hopefully, for us. And I guess maybe we won't run trains everywhere like we were hoping to do. <laughs> it might have been part of the oof. I don't know. But it's all good. It is what it is. I so, will say, we went big really fast yeah. yeah yeah that's that's what i was saying earlier it's like we know what we can do in like a couple weeks now and then say next server we you know maybe let in a couple more people too it's like the growth is just is is just gonna get faster so it's it's crazy but it was fun thanks for the uh, hype chain there chat appreciate y'all all right back to the field we go chat let's go Non-stop hauling action. Yeah, exactly, Chuck. I mean, and then come to find out, like, they might be nuking the saves with, with Unreal Five. And they might not or something. I don't know. That's kind of why I, I don't feel like I want to try to save our save. If they're just going to nuke it with Unreal 5, then what's the point? Treated it like Minecraft. What do you mean, Traxxas? What are we growing? This was uh, chaff. We're chaffing. Corn for chaff. And we like can't get John empty here at all, but that's, that's fine. He's got more capacity than me. Oh, that's the problem. Although Sans here, he can grab a load. It will be good then. Oh man. Oh, I got distracted. Yeah, fair play. We did. Yeah. I guess if we were to do it again, maybe we would try to. I don't know if set limits is the right term. 
You know what I mean? Because, like, you shouldn't have to do that. But at a certain point, I guess you maybe should. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I looked at some, look at some of our factories we were putting up and, like, oh, hello. Uh, some of those factories were making, like, a stupid amount of stuff. And, you know, it's cool to do that. Don't get me wrong. It's fun. You know, it's a logistic, like, to move all that around logistically. Like, it's fun to do that. But now knowing what I know, probably next time I'd be like, hey, let's let's pump the brakes on XYZ factory. I'm not going to call anybody out, but, you know, like even my smelting factory, like, yeah, you know, like, let's let's cut that in half, maybe. Because, you know, if it takes time to build stuff, well, who cares? Because you can turn it so the server runs all night long. So if you're only making half the material, just put more storages in. Let them fill up overnight. I guess that would be kind of my, my thought process maybe going into the next one. I don't know. I don't well, know what the right answer is, you know? As small as the kind of the home base was. Yeah. You know, the whole, you know, with the footprint and what we were doing. It was still kind of late. We, we had a lot of, well, we had a lot of production, too. Yeah, we did. Still, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah, even like your computer factory, which it only had like one thing making computers. But hey, if you AFK tonight, there were a ton of computers. You know? I think that that might be the approach for next time. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't know the right answer. The only thing I really know for sure is it was crashing every couple of minutes uh, Monday and, and Tuesday night, really. And it got to the point where, like, even one person couldn't build, like, train track without having issues. Uh, dying randomly and losing all your stuff, that, that happened to us a couple times Tuesday. Or dying and getting all your stuff back from your previous death. Barry, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> A little bit of frustration <laughs> very frustrating so i guess that's the biggest thing is it got to the point where it wasn't fun and it was just frustrating so it's like i'm just done hold the plug i'm done so and we did try it on another server company and i tried it locally and and everything like that and it was the same results so at a certain point you gotta just pull the plug and, and that's where I got with it, so. Yeah. But it sucks, because I was really having fun with it this time, too. Like, that's my third map I've ever been involved in. That was the best one I've ever been involved in. I was having so much fun. But it is what it yeah. is. What was nice for me was doing that, or having my own map. Like, first, know, yeah. First, right? Yeah. Just kind of pacing and, and seeing how everything goes together. Sure. Kind of starting anew with, with you guys was kind yep. of uh, kind of cool to do. It was fun. Yep. Good time. Yeah. Sounds so familiar. Yeah, but Black Hat, I don't, maybe I just don't have the patience that you do, but I just, I can't, I couldn't do it anymore. And especially for streaming, it's just like, hey, how many times do I have to lay this? The same piece of track now, you know? So I was just like, I'm done. Hold the plug. I'm done. Wow, Trent. <laughs> Trent sliding in the DMs, throwing shade. <laughs> I don't know if that causes more lag or not, Trent. I don't know. I have no idea. But oh, wow. This yield must be really good on this side of the field. That's all I know. It's all we can do to keep up with John right now, and we're actually really not. So. That's okay. You got dark in here with all this shade. Yeah, Chuck, I think it's thunderstorms moving in or something. I'm not sure. If you only knew what he said, too, Chuck. Just saying. It's all good. 
I mean, I don't know. Chat. I didn't know that trains were the laggiest way to move material until I started Google in the other day. You know, and I was like, oh, trains are the laggiest way to move material in that game. <laughs> Wasn't aware of that. Which sucks because trains are so cool. And especially once we got like the roundabouts figured out and stuff for the, the signals for the roundabouts and, and whatnot. Yeah, it was just super fun. You know, I was enjoying it. That's right. Is what it is. 115. Wow, John. Exactly, Chuck. Betcha. Really, Larry? Why is it us then? Why? Are, why are we the one to break games? <laughs> We're good at it. We are very good at it for some reason. And I don't know why. I don't know. All right. That's interesting though. I don't, maybe it's cause I don't have a 4090. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, man. I don't think that's what it is. It was a joke. Better go to download4090.com and get me one real quick. Wait, that's not a thing. That is interesting, though, you'll bear. Although, I feel like if there's a way to break a game or break a server, we're going to, you know, figure it out. How many farm sim servers have we broken? How many farm sim saves have we crashed? All of them. All of them. Do I have another game in mind I want to play instead. Uh, it was going to be Railroad Straxes. Chuck, we'll catch you. Enjoy your lurking. Uh, it was going to be Railroads, but... That game kept crashing last night. Of course, it's in a, it's in a, they have like an update coming out, but it's on like their beta branch. So it's not even like really out yet. So if it crashes, I like completely understand that. Completely understand that. And it was a uh, fatal error and crashing out last night a few times. So probably not going to be playing that again for a little while until that gets like actually released the update, you know? Although the weather and the day-night cycle is absolutely incredible in that game. Just saying. But as of right now, I don't know. I'll try to come up with something for Monday besides farm sim, but who knows? I might just farm. Never know, chat. Play Age of Empires, okay? I know Sarge really wants to do that, actually. We've talked about it. But I don't know uh, at this point what else we'll play. I don't know. Halo. Dang, Eelberry, that's crazy. Now, like I said, I could take that save and put it in single player and it runs decent with all the trains. But as soon as somebody joins me, either off my machine or on a server, it just, it just gets bad. So, I don't know. Oh, it does try, yeah. It really does. All right. Uh, John, we're probably going to go slower now. Sand Camp has stepped away. So, probably going to slow it down here a little bit. Yeah, bigger auger wagon. Uh, Chuck streamed the other day. Uh, first time Chinese rocket debris. Sorry, wrong account. Same person. Uh, he streamed the other day for a little while, and it was hilarious. Yulberry was there to test auto mod and everything. 
Oh, goodness. It was funny. It was funny. Hey, those are back to the normal volume. Uh, left, thanks for the bits. How's it going? Danger zone. You're not danger zone anymore. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Quiet gamer. All right. Lightning. Danger zone. Quiet gamer. Hello. Black hat. Thanks for the bits. First time. I, I have no idea if he has his VOD saved. I don't know. Oh, come on. I know you, Larry. I know it sucks. John, just roll. Just roll. Just roll, John. We'll uh, get it as you go. Come on. But it's fine. I swear everything's fine. There we go. Made it happen. We made it happen. What did you say? I have no idea. Hey, Chinese Dragon, everybody, what do you think about streaming our road trip on Sunday? <laughs> what do you think about streaming it? <laughs> Put the phone up in the windshield. Uh, there's, we're probably going to be in thunderstorms, too, by the way. So that could be fun. Oh, Santa is still here. Okay, never mind. Sand's back. I have a phone mount. I could put my phone in the windshield of the truck on the way. Chinese rocket debris cheered X100. Armadillo, armadillo, armadillo. Another effing armadillo. I know. That's why I think it could be funny first time. <laughs> Just saying. I did not agree. Thanks for the bits. Uh, you'll bury that. It was funny. It made me laugh. I, with, there were a, there was a group of us in TeamSpeak watching you'll bury, and uh, we were all laughing. Just saying, we were we were all all laughing about it. I know I was. It was rather amusing. Chat, by the way, don't get your hopes up for a Sunday like road trip stream that's probably not gonna happen but you never know but probably won't happen so don't get your hopes up okay just saying and as far as wanting anything for the trip i don't i don't want anything it's it's an hour and a half road trip like each way it's not, it's not bad or wait we doing like snacks chat road trip snacks what's what's the strat Definitely like Cheetos. You got to get the Cheeto dust everywhere, right? Uh, that's a joke. Used to do like bugles and easy cheese a lot on road trips. That was always fun. Gotta love bugles. Pepperoni combos. You sound like my nephew. And yep. Kid used to live on combos. Jerky Pringles and combos. Yeah, I could see having some like beef jerky. That would be, you know. I would assume we'll take a cooler of water and talk to dad. Problem is we got to take just the right cooler because that it, it's back of his truck is so short that like our normal coolers don't fit. So we we do have a cooler that fits, but it's not that big. But yeah. Ah, sand camp. That would be a good road trip. You're right. The lag bars. Too bad loves doesn't have them, even though they're supposed to. Maybe I'll check again before. We can check on our way out of town or something. <laughs> we got to find, like, we got to go to a gas station, find the weirdest thing we can find, and then we'll buy that. That'll be our road trip snack. Be like pickled uh, uh, avocados. I don't know. Something. 
Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, that's weird, I know. Something weird like that, though. Right, uh, roads are full of dead birds. Oh, wow, you'll bury. So, let's back it up. Chinese Rocket Review. Let's talk about armadillos. Last time we went down to uh, where we're going, um, the whole road trip, like, Southern Missouri apparently is loaded with armadillos. And where we live in Missouri, they've just kind of barely started, but there's really not many here. Because, you know, there's like a river. Uh, so there's not many like north of the Missouri River, right? So we were just like shocked once we got out of St. Louis a little bit uh, down on Highway 55, like how many armadillos were at, like roadkill. We didn't see any of them alive. They were just roadkill. And it was like, it was just insane. And we just, we just couldn't get over it. And we get down there and we're talking to those people. And they're all just, all just like, yeah, that's normal. We're like, no, no, that's not normal. <laughs> not something we're used to seeing. So it was, it was kind of funny. So I'm ho assuming that uh, it'll be that bad again. Because we're taking the same, the same road this time to go down there again. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Very, very strange. But yeah, kind of a whole like weird thing. But hopefully it turns out good. Hopefully it's a fun trip. We do have AAA. I made sure we were we were watching something last Sunday at the farm and there was a AAA commercial and I said, Dad, you should get that before we go on our little journey. And he goes, that's a good idea. So we have AAA. But hopefully we won't all need it. You never know. Better to be prepared, right? Or something. So hopefully we'll be alright though. But yeah, we'll definitely want something to drink uh first time. Tarion74 just resubscribed for seven months. Love your streams. Tarion, thank you, and uh, appreciate the resub as well. Seven months, welcome back. How you doing? Do appreciate it. June. Oh, it probably would be worse then, yeah. I don't remember what time of year. What time of year did we go down last time? It was for Uncle's birthday, but I don't know when Uncle's birthday is. I'll tell you that right now. Not a clue. Okay. So, pretty much the same time of year. All right. Doing great. Awesome. Glad to hear it. I just know that Casey's Pizza will be involved, and therefore I'm happy. It means I got to make sure I'm logged into the Casey's app on my phone before uh, Sunday. That's all right. That's proper road trip food right there. Pull in and get a whole pizza, you know? Driving down the road, eating slices of pizza. Heck yeah. I'm here for it. The good thing is we don't have to be down there till like 2. So it's not like we have to, you know, get up super early to like get down there. So that's nice. Take the pizzazz and... Oh my god, first time. I changed directory. I have a power inverter that would totally run the pizzazz. The inverter's in dad's truck already. <laughs> uh, I might have to... Chad, I might not be able to stream tomorrow. I have to rig up a mount for the pizzazz in the back of the truck, okay? <laughs> oh, man. We make it, like, fold down out of the back seat. Like, a chow. There's a pizzazz. I'd be here for it. That would be that would be something. We're not actually gonna do that for the record. It would be funny though. Now that would be worth streaming right there, okay? Actually that road trip where we went down to Georgia. That was the road trip where we had the Xbox and the monitor mounted in the van. 
instead of like the middle seat, you know? That was pretty That was pretty baller. Play an Xbox the whole way to Georgia. That was fun. That was a good time. Wow. This one. Oh, sand camp. Wow. Fast on the brakes there, sand. Jeez. That John Deere tractor's got good brakes. Come on. All right, and then we'll, we're gonna have to move all of this draft to record, but that's all right. Gotta get it all in the bunker, get it compacted. We are almost out for our, uh, uh, for the cows and the sheep. So, kinda crazy. All right, Sam, all good, all good. All right, now this is where it slows down, John. Although you could fold your head up once you're on the north side of the field and, like, empty uh, as well once in a while if you had to. But it's all good. It's all good either way. Yeah. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. How big are the trailers and the ones we're tipping into? Uh, this is all in-game stuff, uh, Mad Alex. I don't know if that helps you or not, but it's all, it's all in-game equipment. Uh, that's the Crone trailer. The one that's leaving the field up there, that's like the biggest trailer. Well, okay, I shouldn't say it's all in-game stuff. The semi-trailer is not in-game. The rest of it is. Uh, that crone trailer is hauling... What does that one hold? 52,000? Yeah, 52,000 liters. I mean, it's not... We're not running any, like, big modded stuff. Uh, the only thing that's big and modded is our semi trailer that holds 120,000. But if you notice, we're not actually filling it up because that truck doesn't really like it when it's full. So, uh, tracks as I wish, we have a two million dollar loan. We are struggle busing right now, um, a little bit on this server. Oh, betcha. No, no. Nope, no big Stevie trailers. The only tipper that, like I said, is our semi, and it holds 120. And it's the lizard uh, upper bottom from the mod hub. And it's passing me on the right right now. There it, there it goes. That's the one that has the steering uh, axle in the back. And it's really nice on auto drive to go around corners. Really, really like it. And then I guess technically the uh, auger wagon that John has is technically modded as well. But again, that's from the mod hub. But yeah, we don't typically run like huge modded trailers. Like I said, on our semi, yeah, but beyond that, we really don't. I don't like to personally. I'd rather have stuff like this where it's kind of like a logistic nightmare, you know? I guess it's fun personally, so. You betcha. That's the loading wagon you start the, the save with. Or this map with. That's the auger wagon we started with too. That's the truck, just not the same trailer. Obviously you start with the three hopper trailers. We have changed out some equipment, but yes, unfortunately we do have a $2 million loan or almost a $2 million loan out. Um, it is very unfortunate, but we purchased cows, we have sheep, we have a tailor shop, we have a spinnery, and we are hopefully going to make a bunch of money off that stuff. Uh, we're selling homogenized milk once a year so that, you know, we can make some uh, good money there. John, you can just keep going. 
you're doing okay right now. Since I'm empty. Uh, yeah, we're selling milk every, like, January, I think it is. We're in each other's way. It's all my fault. I'm the grain cart driver. That shouldn't be driving a grain cart for shaft, but that's okay. We're making it happen. Um, but yeah, no, nothing too crazy modded wise. That forage harvester head might be a little bit, but you know, gotta get it done. You no, know? gotta get it done. All right. And of course, putting chaff in an auger wagon, that is, uh, you know, because this is a Stevie map, we can put anything in, an, in this auger wagon. We could even put field stones in here if we wanted to. Turning there. I got you, John. All good. All right. And the 47.55 is back. Might be my favorite tractor that we have right now. It gets, it gets the job done. Not fast, but eventually he'll get the job done. Just saying. He will. Although Mickey was running that 4755 on this auger wagon the other day. It wasn't a great idea, but it worked. It definitely was working. It was a little slow, but that's all right. He got the job done. I just thought about this chat. We're going to have to uh, pick rocks tonight. Can't wait for that. 4755 is a great tractor for uh, for the rock picker. What I used uh, last week. I guess that was Tuesday, I think. Wasn't it? Last, last Thursday? I don't even know when it was. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? It was a while ago, and it worked well. We are going to have to break out our subsoiler here in a little bit, y'all. And if you were here the other day when you saw us use that, it takes field stones all the way to the max. So we will have a ton of field stones to pick out of this field. Which is uh, fun. But hey, it's free lime. Actually, speaking of lime, we might need to lime this field this time, too. Yeah, we need to lime the field. It says it's okay. We'll go ahead and lime it as well. That'll be with our free lime. First time using it, actually. So that'll be good. That should be good. I got you, John. Oh, he, no, no. Now you're going to leave a skiffer on the other side. <laughs> oh, man. So there are mods uh, that will allow you to turn them into to lime. Uh, it's like a placeable thing. Yeah, so you'll you'll have to I know there's one in the mod hub. I'm pretty sure there is. Um but yeah, it's a limestone maker. So it takes the field stones and start crushes them down into limestone for you. Uh so I don't actually know yet how much this isn't gonna work. I don't know how much lime this field takes, let's say. Uh, I do know how many stones that this <laughs> it produced a lot of stones. Let's let's well, let's break it down. We can look at it. Uh, I believe our limestone maker is empty. Pretty sure we emptied that the other day. Yeah, so it's empty. So all the lime that we made it should be in storage. Do to do where's lime? Did I pass? It should be right here. So we made ninety nine thousand lime. So we have 99,000 lime, and that was just off picking rocks off this field. 
So, I don't know if that's enough lime to actually, you know, re-lime the field or, or not. Uh, our lime's not terrible, terrible right now as far as, like, needing lime, but it is uh, definitely in need of lime. Leonard, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I am... I'm I'm farming, so I'm great. <laughs> Not playing satisfactory, so I'm sad. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, I I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is on this particular map with the particular lime thing that we have, which comes with this map. It is a one to one, yes. So that is that is nice, yeah. Which means I'm just. Looking forward, we're going to have to pick 100,000 liters of rocks here in a little while, so. That'll be fun. It was fun last time we did it, too. Don't worry. Definitely fun last time we did it, too. Oh, he didn't get done. I was like, where is he going? He didn't finish the pass. Okay. All right. I would have left two like wheel marks all the way through that because I wouldn't have been paying attention. Well, I guess he would have just kept chopping it. Never mind. Even better. Would have chopped it and it would have vanished. I would not have paid attention. Right. Let's take my horse. Well, you get to see it here in a little bit. Stay tuned. That's, uh, we need to fill the bunker up. So all this chaff right now is just going into storage because we can't, we could have had auto drive dump it, but I tend to go in and delete all those auto drive uh, waypoints because there's just a lot in the uh, bunkers. Uh, so right now all of this is going to storage. So when we get done here, we'll grab trailers and run it all to the bin or the bunker. Um, there's quite a bit in the bunker already, actually. So that's good. Uh, what are we up to here? That's 640,000. Not terrible. Not terrible. But yeah, it's, uh, we'll get that bunker going, get it compacted, and then, uh, the next job will be to start plowing. And we have a subsoiler that comes with the map that technically counts as plowing. And, uh, also kicks up all the field stones and not just little ones either boulders so that'll be fun and we'll have to start working on uh cleaning up the field stones behind the plow so that'll be a uh it'll be a good time i swear or something like that we might hire the rock pickers because then we just run the tipper up behind them and it should empty into them We'll see. We can always use a tipper on auto drive to sit at the edge of the field and wait. It's full. It will go dump in storage as well. And we've got a couple uh, tippers just for that job as well. Back when we actually had money on this map, before I spent it all on animals, we, we bought some tippers. Oh, yeah. It's a whole thing. How do you get popular with Farmsim on Twitch? I don't know. It just kind of happened, you know? Uh, stream a lot. Have a good personality. Uh, try to make connections with your people watching. You know, don't make your streams all about money. That's a big one. I was watching a stream today, chat, by the way. There was, there was an ad break the stream. 10 ads. 10 ads. Yeah. Like, wow. That's a bit much, right? Just saying. That's a bit much. Excessive is a word that comes to mind. A little bit, right? A little bit. So. 
Yeah. Oh, I was like, what is that noise? It's John. He must be done. Let's go. Just dax it out when that happens. Yeah, I mean, ad, don't get me wrong. Ads are a good thing. I do have ads on my stream, and I will have ads on my stream, but I'm not going to run like 20 minutes of ads an hour, so try to keep it uh, somewhat to a minimum, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, ads are good for the streamer. I, I totally get that. I understand that. I know what I make off ads. Yes, ads are good for me, but it's also not worth you know, annoying a bunch of people by just jamming them down your throat every four seconds, you know? Just saying. So there's there's a balance there, you know? Because I could put an ad every, like, minute and a half. I, you definitely could do that on Twitch. You, you betcha. But that's not worth annoying people, you know? Not worth it to me, chat. So, yeah. Not worth it, chat. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, a 10, 10 block. And they weren't like little ones either. And then what I thought was really weird was after the 10 played, because I did stick around because I was kind of interested in what they were doing. Uh, then like the lower third ads kicked in right away too. And I'm just like, wait a minute. We're running like those ads and I don't know. It was a whole thing. But whatever. It is what it is. Alright, so we need to get all of our guys off of auto drive. So here's the forty seven fifty five. We'll go put him back in in the in the shed or somewhere in the homestead for now. I can't control what the ads are. I can just control how many ads per hour basically how many minutes of ads per hour and then like time in between them as well but no i can't be like only play league of legends ads no i can't do that I, that's something i would do i only want ads for food related things on my stream much as we talk about food i should be sponsored by like every fast food restaurant ever so Taco Bell, pizzazz. You know, actually, actually, um, Bear? Yeah? I've pulled back on the Taco Bell. <clears throat> really? Yeah, I have. I have. Uh, a, Just it's doubled it... up on the pizza? Huh? Just doubled up on the pizza. What's it to you, huh? <laughs> no, it's it's expensive. I can get just a, as filly of a meal from somewhere else for, like, less money, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's that's all fast food right now. Yeah. Oh, it's all outrageous. There's no such thing as, like, a cheap, like, fast food anymore. Or any meal out, for that matter. You know, it's just not. Welcome in. Welcome in. How's it going, by the way? Cat. Appreciate y'all being here. Howdy. Um, we need to stop you. Yep, to the homestead. Your yum brand stock is down. The regret is free. Yeah, the Taco Bell regret is... it. Well, actually, it costs. Because, you know, there's consumables that are consumed when you're in Taco Bell regret mode. So, if you know, you know. Yeah, one of those costs are dehydration. You had Breadco today. Their buffalo chicken sandwich sucks. Well, there goes my Breadco sponsorship. Thanks. And I actually know a guy there that might be able to hook me up with a sponsorship. Come on. Gone. They have a new chicken, or no, what is it? Pepperoni cheese melt or something? That looks pretty good. Basically like a little pizza on a, like a flatbread or something, or some kind of, I don't know. It looks good, though. Yeah. I'd never eat at Panera. Or St. Louis Bread Company if you're from here, but Panera if you're, you know, from anywhere else. Just saying. Hashtag always call it Breadco here in St. Louis. Because... That's what it what it was, you know, St. Louis Bread Company. All bread, no chicken and cheese. Well, bread's cheap compared to chicken and cheese. Uh. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Panera, Panera, Panera is spe expensive. Very, 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 very spendy. But so is everywhere these days, pretty much, you know? Just saying. It's all just kind of crazy. Would be nice if I could set them to family friends. You know, that should be an option, honestly. It's not, but it should be. What are, what are, never, John, I don't want to know. Your ads are probably based on your, like, browser history, right? I don't want to know. Don't want to know, John. Don't want to know. A sandwich and a soda is $18. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dang, Bobby. Every time I go to Arby's, oh, one, Arby's meal, is... one meal is, like, thirteen seventy five. dollars or something. I say, Arby's is the king of, like, High prices, right? Wow. It's time he's rocking a beer. You've been watching Yuleberry again. No comment. <laughs> All right, John, that's good. Oh, man. But no, that that actually, I I wish that was an option, honestly, to make the ads family friendly, you know. Yeah. Sand cam's back forever now. We can never get rid of you. Challenge accepted. Wait a minute. <laughs> Leonard's like, well, hold my beer. Watch this. <laughs> right? Yes. All right. Facts. All right. So I'm switching to the bigger tractor for the bigger trailer instead of the tiny tractor on the big trailer. Same. Because we got to move chaff, y'all. And like a lot of it. Like a lot of it. Uh, did you see those rubber band uh, hydraulic hoses there? Oh man, man, oh man. Oh, it works, sand camp. I just want the big tractor. That's all. I mean, the big tractor's not doing anything else, so might as well use it. It just go like over 900,000. That's all, chat. No big deal. No big deal. Chat, what do you guys think of the uh, the game? Does it look better tonight? Does it look different? Does anybody notice anything? Did it look different? So I, you know, I've been I've been complaining about like that ghosty forever, right? And my shadows. Although my yeah. shadows, shadows usually are when I'm zoomed out all the way. Okay. But like the ghosty, right? Yeah. I went in my settings today and turned everything to medium and then turned it back to very high. And the only thing I custom was the beacon reflectivity. Yeah. And it's a little jittery at times, I feel like. But I feel like it's also reloading shaders. Like if I go to a different area of the map, it stutters a little. Yeah. But otherwise, I feel like it looks better. I figured out at one point in time what setting did that. I think it was... Uh... I don't know. I, I don't feel remember like which one, but there is a nader warning in Chinese rocket debris sheared right X one hundred. So my boss spent at least half of this week looking for a forklift. I'm waiting for his master C L John's a bot to come online for how not to get a darn thing done at work despite everyone around him working their butt off. I like that it just throws in John's a bot and that's the sensor. It's pretty great. Um, thank you, Chinese Rock Debris. I did hear about that the other day. Yeah. Oh, is that in Missouri? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that now. Okay, I was zoomed out really far. The, the, the Storm Chasers icons are over the, uh, the warnings for me. 
So yeah. We might fill this bunker sink in, for the record. Cheapest fast food, you know. Gotcha, you bear. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, he probably can't get one cheap enough. That's why. That would be the reason why. All right. Fuck. Has it already been? A, it has been an hour. God, where did time go, chat? Where did time go? Vaporized, I tell you. Welcome in, welcome in. But no, I think the game looks better. I don't know, man. It looks different. It looks different. It's like it, it's like it has Unreal 5. Wait, 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 wait. That was a joke, chat. Can't have that. Maybe someday, but probably not. Probably not. Oh, uh, Jeff, I think so. Actually, yeah. No, I, yeah, I know. I just reacted Jeff, you do have a point, though. Twitch doesn't notify. Make sure you're following us. Uh, follow the, the, wow, what's it called? Join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. It posts in there every time I go live. There's a bot, and there's a whole channel for it, and everything. So make sure you're in the Discord. If you really want, you can set up a notification on your phone or something, so you, you get notified. Jeff does have a point, though, about those other trailers. Problem is, we don't really even have money to lease one right now, Jeff. They're talking about giving him 30k. Uh, anytime you want, you can come and chat and just type exclamation point uh, Discord, and it'll get you the link for uh, for the Discord. Okay. I know, Sam. Yep, that's what I just said. We don't have money. I wish we did, because I would totally try one of those trailers. But, uh, yeah, we legitimately... We legitimately don't have money for it. Um, but, yeah. Kind of unfortunate. Leonard, I don't know what you sent me, but it's that link's broken. It's no worky. It's going to be a 4090, isn't it? Dang it. Made me crash. I made myself crash. But Jeff, I, that's actually a good idea. Because you could back right up to the edge and then lift it up and dump. That'd be pretty sick, actually. I will find a use for that trailer on this map at some point. Maybe when we, once we actually have some money. Uh, but at some point, I will find a use for that trailer. Okay, try it again. Try it again. Oh. That's not bad, though, like price-wise. I know. <laughs> if I tell you that's like just over half of what I paid for my card, would you? I'd believe it. <laughs> that's good, because it is. Like, just over half. Yeah. I thought you were buying a computer, not just a 4090. I thought you wanted to do know, a whole I new don't machine. Know what I, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, okay. You just want something fancy, right? Better. <laughs> oh, come on, tractor. You can do it. Power up the hill. I had the wide tracks, I'd be fine. 
insane. Actually, big articulated tractors work best for this job right here. So, yeah. The puking baby DoorDash for you. Okay. We'll give you an aux cord. I thought, well, my phone will be hooked up for GPS. To the, to the thing. To the, to the truck there. Uh, Chinese Rockery. I still don't know exactly where we're going. I think it's the same place we went last time we went down there, but I don't actually know. Not really sure. And by the way, chat, we're talking about like this road trip on Sunday. And obviously you can tell that first time's going and my dad's going and I'm going. There will be people in the house here at, at our house. So like, you know, nobody get any funny ideas, okay? Just saying. There will be people here. Plus, you know, I got cameras everywhere. So just throwing it out there. So, Zach, if you're listening, don't get any ideas, okay? Or James. Just saying. Wow, Sand Camp. Everybody saw you grab the tractor, bro. Everybody saw it, Sand Camp. So, yeah. There will be people. Right. Build up. Let's go. <laughs> Did I tell you there's baby rabbits in our backyard right now? Chinese rock debris. I know you're happy about it, but yeah. Oh, buddy. Rock. Wow, Leonard. Wow. Yeah, chat, we just need a ramp right here. Drive right up on that pile from here, you know? That'd be sick. I still like those drive over uh, bunkers with the big uh, the big, big doors that close on top, you know? I really like those still. We don't use them anymore, but I like them. Quite a bit. Oh, it's digging. I'm going to make it all by myself this time. Or maybe not. I was thinking about it. There we go. Come on. So close, chat. It's so close. Just, there's so much weight on that front axle on that trailer. It's so close. Almost made it. Check for your air pressure. I don't. I don't have air pressure in my tracks, bro. Not quite how it works, but all right. Right. Wish you could farm some twenty-two on Switch. Well, you know they are coming out with farm some twenty-three here soon, and that will be on Switch. Farm Sim 23, which is basically going to be 22, I think, from looking at it. Basically a strip down 22 a little bit. It's the mobile game coming out. Uh, Switch and phones. I don't even know when it comes out. I know it's soonish, though. That much I can tell you. Beyond that, I don't really know. I'm not planning on picking it up, so don't know when it's actually coming out i don't have a switch and i'm not gonna play it on my old uh my old crusty phone at this point but yeah not gonna do that which <laughs> yeah i do something with my phone one of these days chat the case on that thing is absolutely just falling apart it's an otter box too but it is just disintegrating in fact, here's a here's a piece of it on my desk. It's laying here. Here, yeah, there it is. It's a piece of my phone case. But yeah. 
Can I imagine trying to maneuver a combine on a phone screen? I've played, uh, I played, what was the last, like 18? I think I played some of that. It wasn't terrible controls. Um, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. I could see farm sim being a lot of fun on a Switch, though. I could see that. Maybe I should uh, buy it for my for my five year old nephew and teach him how to farm. That would be fun. Maybe we should do that. He was watching me play Satisfactory the other day for a little bit. He was like way way interested in that. It was uh, it was amusing actually. Played on the Switch with a controller. I can see that, Chuck. Yeah. Betcha. Oh, this is okay. Not quite going to make this one, chat. This is where the big articulated tractors, to me, work best for this. Because you can, you can pull up the pile. Pull a trailer up the pile with a big articulated tractor. Motion controls for driving could be cool. I don't know if it has that, but that would be interesting. Yeah. And how much more do we have? This bunker is getting full. I want to start compacting too. We'll see. How much we got after this load? I might switch to uh, compacting. Break out the combine. Do some compacting with it. Usually works pretty good. Or fill a sprayer up and drive that back and forth on there, right? Oh, goodness. Yeah, okay. I'm going to just let them handle the rest of what's left, and then I'll grab that roller and start rolling it. This is where we need, like, a D8 dozer or something. Probably, probably pack it down. Or something like that. Y'all notice that that radar, by the way, if anybody's looked at radar in the last little while, it almost looks like a hurricane. I'm just saying. It really kind of does. It's a hurricane without, like, the tropical part, you know? Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy right now. That's all right. Hello. Hello. It is a crazy Midwest hurricane. Oh, I think I hit the wrong button on that, by the way. <laughs> there it is. Why did that take so long to come through? Goodness, D11 for Cyber Farm Sim 19, yeah. Use a D8 mod for compacting, nice. Nice. Need a tow chain right now. Auto mod didn't like the word crazy. Didn't like the word crazy. Auto mod's a you know trying to be nice. Got a big hole over there in that corner, guys. Big hole. Right, Chuck. Kind of the whole thing. Automod doesn't know context is the problem. It really doesn't. John, you're good. We'll catch you later, man. Have a good uh, have a good time with your uh, with your fall guys there. Have a good one. And we got chaff in the other bunker. We got chaff outside the bunker. We got chaff everywhere. It's not supposed to be chaff. There we go. This corner's got, got room over here. Fill this front corner up. This bunker, where are we at? 
Or th over three million. So yeah, this thing's full. John, we'll catch you later, man. Three million. It is definitely full. Farms them had a steamroller. Wow. That would be something, all right. There's actually a hole in this corner, too. We'll probably have to clean up a little bit across the front edge. Sand Camp was trying to go in there with speed, but it didn't work. <laughs> Did not work. Got denied. That was funny. Drive up there, I'll push it. We got this. Full teamwork here. Or maybe not. Oh, chat, look at that. It worked. I pushed it right up the pile. Or something like that. All right. Where are we compacted? We're 45% compacted. That's not bad. Which is, you know, a big reason to get up on this pile and drive around when you're, you know, still filling it is, is get your compacted level up. It's, it's kind of nice that way, you see. It helps a lot. And now I keep it inside the bunker. Dump it over the wall on me now. Again. Playing Hunter Call of the Wild while watching the stream. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Go for this corner over here, Sam. Can't buy this light pole. There's plenty of room there. Plenty of room. Alright, we're 50% chat. Let's go. Oh, not, not that corner. Yeah, that problem. Plenty of room over there. And this is where we set up course play to run in circles up here, chat. Not that corner, the other corner. You're spelling. He knows where I'm talking about. He's got to know. He's got to see it. There's totally a hole over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one directly to my left right now. Right there. Like right, right by that light pole. There's all kinds of room there. So course play chat? Is that a course play up here? A little auto drive course maybe? Have it run circles? Definitely can. Problem is, I think this is going to be very slow to compact with just me up here. But they'll be back with another load here in a minute. So I think there's a little bit more storage. 90,000. So it's a whole thing. But hey, we're up 8% since we started here. 9% or something. So that's not bad. And I'm giving it the beans, by the way. I can't go any faster. Probably because my tractor's dragging on the chaff. A little sunk in right now, but that's okay. This will be fun to uh, pick up and put in storage later. I guess we don't have to put it all in storage, but we probably will. It's nice to do that. That way you know exactly how much you have left by looking at the menu. You don't actually have to go... Look at the pile. Usually why we do it. Yeah. 60%. Not bad. Oh, okay. Or track it? I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, dang. Alright. Stuff going on in the scanner. I turned the scanner on for the first time in a, in a while. I haven't been listening to it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, when our tornado siren kept going off today. It's like, okay, maybe there is something going on that I don't know about. I never said anything about it. Kind of weird. All right, 44,000. So one more trailer load, probably. Not bad, not bad. And we can get this pile back down. definitely a slow process <laughs> would we have five of us on here the other day doing that smaller pile that went pretty fast of course we had a combine we have a forge harvester too i think we did get all the heavy stuff up here and it was it was pretty awesome but this is all right we're doing just fine I would say back and forth, but you know, circles, circles work too. All right, here comes sand camp with another load. That is all of our chaff. Sweet. So the reason we have so much here is we had 200,000 from the last time we did this. Plus we actually did the whole field this time too. Uh, last time we did this, we harvested some as, as corn uh, for the chicken feed. This time we're doing it all as as chaff, plus the other 200 and something thousand. So it's quite a heap we have here. Uh, 3.1 million right now. Okay, that might have been a little aggressive. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> might have been a little too much. A little too much yeet right there. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Had to slam on the brakes. Yeah, I guess. I, I saw your trailer, like, almost go over your tractor, so. I assume you slammed on the bricks pretty aggressively. That's funny. We'll get too much farther out there. We're gonna end up having to clean that up. I think anyway, yeah, that's probably outside the outside the bunker. Yeah, right there's a good spot. That needs some. Yep, yep, yep. Bad when you're just trying to find room. Just trying to find any little bit of room we can right now. But full bunkers, that's a good problem to have. A good problem to have right now for us. Alright, he is empty. Let's just keep compacting and then we'll do, we'll get this compacted and tarped and then we'll uh, clean up around the edges. There's a little bit we're going to have to clean up. Guess he's going to get the combine or something bigger. There's actually room for a little more in here in this other front corner. Put a little bit more in there if we had to. 76% y'all. 76. I should probably have two of these rollers. One front, one back. Well, I don't know if that actually helps or not, but... It can't hurt. Okay. Sweet. All the animals are good, so I don't think we have to mess with them at all before we fast time. Although we have field work to do, so we're not going to be fast timing for a little bit, probably. Orange harvester with trailer. 
that's one way to come back silage, I guess. God. Came in like a wrecking ball and everything. Well, three miles an hour for the record, soon. Chug a lug a lug, three miles an hour. And <laughs> around on my pile, let's go. I mean, it's working though. We're up at 82 all of a sudden. Oh, so it's definitely working. Kind of weird looking, but. All right. It does, Chuck. You're right. I haven't met. I don't know if I've messed with the big bud tractors on 22 at all. <laughs> Black hat, why? Black hat, why? Appreciate the bits. Dang. That's what the other farmers say when they when they see this going on. They just scream out of terror. Why not? Okay. Thanks for the bits. Appreciate them. 88% chat. We're getting there. Maybe we'll have to break out a big butt on here eventually, Chuck. Like, just on this map of general. I don't know. I actually did download. I, I talked about it briefly, briefly earlier, but there was two mods in the mod hub today that I actually downloaded. There's a John Deere VT, which is pretty cool looking, and a uh, John Deere Cedar. And they uh, they both look kind of cool. The Cedar's kind of funky, but it is, it is real. I actually Googled it just to make sure it was a real Cedar. It looks kind of strange, but it's a thing. I forget what it is now, but it was, it was interesting. Ninety-five. Let's go. You see, I have a little bit over here. We'll clean up a little bit over there, and not a big deal. I'll throw it back in storage for now. Ninety-six. Seven. Let's go. Y'all dizzy yet? Best tractor brand ever. I'm going to say Alice Chalmers. Uh, that is such a personal opinion question. Everybody has their own opinion, you know? Uh, I really like Alice Chalmers. I'm in the process of rebuilding one IRL. So I really like my Alice. Uh, Fire Shadow, I don't know if it walks. It's a smaller cedar. It's not like anything crazy big. Uh, it's about the same size equivalent to the one that we have on here, the, the Lemkin. Uh, it doesn't, it, it does go kind of, it goes like 12. So it, it's, it scoots. Um, it doesn't fertilize, just seeds. So, which I thought was kind of interesting. But yeah, it's not like a huge cedar or anything. But... It looks pretty good, so I only messed with it for a couple of minutes today. I didn't like go crazy with it or anything. Yeah, I did look at it. That and the VT—they're both about the same size too. Now it was a no-till though, no fertilizer, but it did no-till. I thought that was kind of cool. Alright, not going to let me clean that pile up. Okay. Right. Right from a different angle. Classic. We'll see if it's going to work for me. Straight on. Not having it. Okay. That pile will stay there. Not a problem. 
I really only had a little spillage out here. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And a little bit in here. Not bad. 3,000 liters. That's nothing. That's nothing. Right. And that's what I was thinking. It's because of the tarp, yeah. So we'll just leave that pile there. Actually, you can see part of the tarp sticking out right there. Or something. I don't know what that is. Definitely something there. Yeah, it's part of the tarp. Okay. That's the same texture as the tarp, so. It's all good. All right. Uh, yeah, San, you want to grab the plow? Or you want this tractor? I don't care. I'll work on uh, rock picking if you want. You know, that's probably not a job you want to do, which is fine. And there he goes with the plow already, so I guess he's plowing. <laughs> Perfectly fine. We'll grab uh, probably like the 4755. And I'll either hire him or I'll run him myself and then put just a tipper at the edge of the field waiting for me. Might do that. I don't know yet. We'll see. We used all of our stones to make lime. We made almost 100,000 lime, I believe. Right, Sam? Yep. Yep, yep. You'll definitely get done faster than one rock picker. You betcha. But yeah, no, we, we used all those the other day. We made them all into... Uh, well, I believe we did anyway. I'm pretty sure we, we used them all. Uh, I thought they were down here at the bottom. I guess they're not. because This is all the multi-stuff bones. We have none. Yeah. We have none. <laughs> And we'll actually be using our lime that we made uh, today as well at some point. That's cool. Creating our new gravel field. Pretty much, man. Pretty much what that's going to turn into here in a minute. I can use Carson's DOT tractor as well. Still don't know why we had to buy this, but we did. It does have strobes, though, so... I guess that's okay. It's not, but that's all right. That's okay. All right, so chat, what do you guys think? Do we run the stone picker or do we hire it and then run the tipper for it? That is the question. Which way do you guys wanna wanna see it done? I gotta find the stone pickers too. I think they're down yonder here. Run it, I dare you. Fine, I will. It's all right. I think there, yeah, right here, okay. Oh, rats. Actually, we didn't put the stones in the silo. We had the stones laying here on the ground. Well, we did put them in the silo for a minute, then we put them here in this shed and that's probably well today we'll probably put them in the silo because i can send auto drive there i can't really send auto drive to a shed and make a nice pile so. all right so we'll park this right here for now we need to find the truck uh because the problem is uh i fill up so fast with the stone picker that when the tractor's running to the storage to get rid of them, I'll fill up. So we need two trailers. And we just so happen to have a side dump trailer and the uh, that little red trailer too. These are basically just for um, rock picking. Pretty much what these are for. On our farm anyway. I know other people use them for other things. For our application. That's pretty much all we're using.
When do I reckon another farm symbol will come out? Probably not for a while. Another like PC uh, console one? It's going to be a while still. Uh, we're into year two technically. And it would not surprise me if we get a year three season pass. Which would be like, you know, what, November? Start in November would be the end of year two. So I reckon it'll probably be another whole year. You know, technically 19 was a three year uh, development cycle uh, from 19 to 22. And I bet you they do that again with 22 to whatever the next one is. I don't know what it'll be called. Who knows? Video game companies don't really know how to count. And that's like all of them. Um, so who knows? Who knows what they'll call it? All right, to the stone bigger. Yeah, GTA is the perfect example of video game companies not knowing how to count. All right, we need to wait for Sand Camp to go back and forth. Is what we need. Now oh, we gotta get that truck out of his way. Hang on, soon. Bye. All right. Final, final. The only farm center you look forward to is 23. I mean... I think it's going to be, like I said, I don't know. I have no inside information, but I would assume uh, it's going to be pretty close to 22. I mean, it's not going to be 100% like 22, but, you know, it looks like it's going to have forestry and all the things, you know. So, I mean, I've been, I've been watching their little trailers and their fact sheets and keeping up with, like, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it looks like it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Yeah, Tim, um, we discovered that subsoiler. Uh, well, first off, we need need to plow, but that's what has been plowed, and it is just as red as you can go on the... Yeah. So, based on how much lime we have, we should be picking up almost 100,000 uh, stones, and we're going to turn them all into lime, so... I mean, it's free money sitting out here in the field. And really, with this stone picker being extra with, I don't really mind doing this. It was, it was kind of fun the other day uh, when we did this. I don't mind it. Rocks are turned on. Yep. We're... <laughs> Seems miserable. You know, it's a different way to play. And uh, we're doing a lot of stuff different on this map. So why not turn on field stones, too? You know, we're going to be going, like, all in on factories and animals. Why not turn field stones on? That's, that's something we can uh, use one of the machines to make is lime. So we might as well. This is the way I see it anyway. Might as well. That's why we turned them on. And we have to plow right now because we had corn planted. So it's obviously going to kick up all the stones. Well, you know, if you think about how much money we're saving by not buying lime, you know, that's that's where how I'm looking at it. We're not making money, but we're saving a ton of money. Yeah. We are definitely saving money right now by not having to purchase all the lime. So, and we need every dollar we can save right now as well. We might have about a $2 million loan out, chat, and we have $85,000 to our name. Uh, now, we do, we can do contracts and stuff, obviously. And we have been. But uh, the big thing right now is we're trying to make money off of our uh, sheep and our cows. 
So we, we've been selling the uh, homogenized milk every January. And we're making money off that. And we have a spinnery and tailor shop um, working. So we're going to hopefully make money off that at some point. Might be a while on that one, though. I mean, that's no different than real farming, right, San? Bank owns the farm, yeah. That's not too far off from real farming. But yeah. You going all the way to cake? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, man. Why not? I don't know yet, honestly. What the heck is going on, chat? Oh. That's what's going on. Chat, can we cut down all these trees? Like, just all of them? Every single last one? That is a considerable amount of stones. <laughs> right, fair. Aren't they pretty, though? I mean, as far as graphics are concerned, yeah, they look really good. <laughs> Imagine I'm an Unreal 5. <laughs> now, you know, the funny thing is, if Sand Camp goes back over the ground that I've already picked, that's how many stones will appear again. That tillage tool is just like, wow. Stone City, man. So we only have to do this after we uh, after we plow. Technically, that's counting as plowing. And uh, like I said, we have ninety nine thousand lime in storage, so I'm assuming we'll have about ninety nine thousand uh, stones when we get done here. But we'll see. I don't know. There might have been some lime in storage already. I'm not sure. Not quite sure. Gaming Scooter, what's up? How you doing, man? Welcome in. How are you? Blank Ant's here to help. Let's go. We have another stone picker, just saying. Are those stones with NVIDIA on or off? I don't know, Niles. I reset all my graphics today, so I don't know if NVIDIA's stuff is on or not. I don't know. I don't know. Awesome, Scooter. I'm doing good, man. Doing well. Get the gator. I think we're going to need a bigger bed than the gator has, bro. I'm just saying. Might need a bigger, uh, a bigger bed than that. When the Unreal... Don't worry about Unreal 5 Stone scratching your computer uh, while you're playing Farm Sim, because we'll never have it. I will say, I noticed my render circle's a lot tighter in. Y'all notice that tonight? Render circle is, like, zoomed yeah. in, man. But my game's running better, so I can't really complain. So, yeah. Oh, snap. Biggest bull. Biggest bull, I didn't even know you were here. He just sent me a Lego John Deere like log skitter. Like a, the next like Lego Technic thing. That looks sick. Might need to add that to my collection. So far I have one. So I mean if I add two, that if I add that, that's that's a collection, right? That means I'll have two things. That's a collection, right? <laughs> I still have that tow truck that I have yet to put together. And I don't know if I ever will, to be honest. Because it's already worth, like, a little bit more than I paid for it. So, I as well just let it sit in the box. Or something like that. I would like to push my render circle out a little bit. I'll have to figure out what, uh, what setting does that. You betcha, Mickey. We are stone picking. We're just, we're, I just see lime. We're picking up lime. It's just in a bigger farm right now, you know? 
That's all. That's all it is. Just in a bigger form right now. All right, I'm going to dump and then I'm going to send those guys around the, the loop to get them out of our way. Yo, bacho. <laughs> Tran, it looks pretty sick. I bet I almost bet you Tran's buying that chat. Looks pretty sick. And I'm full. So the worst part is we can't make a round. Um, before we get full. That is by far the worst part of this whole... Or it's the best part. No, it's the worst part. Oh, well, more stones, more lime. <laughs> I know, but it gets annoying. After a little while here. That's alright. Daniel, you drive this guy to get him out of the way here. Um, let's go. Uh, Mickey, I was watching when Reed, uh, well, I went back and watched where Reed intercepted a tornado. I don't know if he ever got a second one or not, but he definitely got one. Bigger as ball. Hello. How are you? I haven't talked to you in forever. I've had to Google things on my own. It's really been sad. Old map rock harvest win. No, that we're not doing bigger ball. I hope all is well, Vigorous Bull. For reals. But it has been difficult Googling things on my own, okay? I'm being serious about that part. Alright. Drop it like it's hot. GPS, please. The backup. There we go. GPS, let's go. Let's go! Alright. I did not get to see the drone footage. No, I uh, make I did not see the drone footage. I, I heard about the drone footage, but I did not get to see it. So yeah, I did see that. So they, they are, they're in their, their tornado, like intercept vehicle thing, Dominator three. And they like, all right, we're going to put the windows up. We're gonna put our seat belts on helmets on, you know, we're, we're intercepting the tornado. And all of a sudden, like, the camera falls to the floor. Well, apparently come to find out they got hit by, like, part of a tree. And it, like, ripped the side mirror off the thing and, like, jostled the whole thing. And the camera fell. And it was a whole thing. So, yeah. Oh, I will, Mickey. I, I want to see it, like, you know, in 4K and stuff. Definitely. I uh, I definitely will. I, that, that'll be a video I show my dad. Like, put it on the big TV in the house, you know? I showed him that one from, like, a week ago or whatever that Reed had. And, like, he was freaking out the whole time. My dad was. So I definitely will show him uh, whatever video they come out with tomorrow. You betcha. And I make him a weather nerd just like me, okay? It's the last thing I do, chat. It'll happen. I mean, I, I kind of, I guess I'm the one that kind of got him into watching farm videos online, so. Kind of a whole thing. Actually, when he had surgery, was that? I think he had his hip, re when he had his hip replaced, maybe? I can remember playing, like, One Lonely Farmer videos far on, on the TV in the living room. Yeah. Oh, he sent it to the Weather Channel and they've been playing it nonstop. Wonder how much he got paid for sending it to the Weather Channel. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we can only make like golly chat a pass and I'm not even this seems worse than last time. a pass and a half and we're full on stones oh this is good chat seems good I will say though the other day we had a person I think it was saying camp run and tipper for us 
And so we didn't have to like drive to the tipper. We would just stop. He'd pull it behind us. We'd back up a little bit. That was, uh, that was very handy. We set this thing as a combine. If I set myself as a combine, will this thing empty me? Tell me you're not curious about this jet, right? We have auto drive. Let's try. Oh, there's no combines on that mode. Okay, hang on. I'm on that. Yeah, I'm on the field. Dang it, Bobby. It won't work. No combines. Oh, well. I tried. <laughs> that would have been awesome if that worked. Drive out to us. Empty us. Horseplay won't do that, will it? That just says empty as well. Combine. Hmm. See what that does. Because if that works, that would just be like the coolest thing ever. I can't put my pipe out in this thing, so I don't know how it's gonna, I'm going to call it out here, but... I'm willing to try. Willing to try. That would be sick if they set up course play to empty a uh, rock picker. I'm just saying. I don't think it's actually going to work. But. I as well try it. The other day, the plow was able to keep ahead and keep from two of us with the, well, it was close though. It was very, oh, we're getting, there we go. Mickey can run tipper for us. Let's go. Let's go. I just wondered like, if we get to a certain percentage, is that thing just going to drive out here? Like how cool would that be? Rock bales. Yes, we need rock bales. That's definitely something that we need. No, we need like a forage harvester, like the uh, the the windrow pickup uh, attachment thing, but like we're picking up like stones, to blow them into a trailer. That would be hilarious. Just saying. I just want to see what happens when I get like full. If that thing actually is going to move or not. Most likely not because it said like harvester. I mean, I am a rock harvester right now, but like, you know. <laughs> Probably not going to work. Who the beat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, make a modded head for the, for the sugar beet and potato harvester to pick up uh, stones. That would be interesting. If he starts driving, I would be absolutely amazed. I don't think he will. But, never know. That truck. Okay, truck's on the way back. Okay, he's not gonna... Dang it, Bobby. That would have been cool. Cool. That all back. All right, Mickey, you can take him off of a course play, and I'll drive if you want. <laughs> We're conducting science. Need to get a hold of the course play guys and have them work on that. Back up. All right.
right, now we need like an auger wagon for rocks. That would be kind of weird, but kind of cool. All right, Sand Camp, you better put that tractor in higher gear. That's probably why we're keeping up with you. You got it. Well, here's the end. Well, yeah, but are you able to maintain 12 up the hills too? You're in the 7R. You should be fine. Never mind. As long as you're able to maintain uh, 12. Oh, okay. Fourteen with ease. That seven R does have horsepower. It's pretty nice. It is definitely a nice tractor. All right. Got a long way to go. A lot of stones to pick. That's okay. I still just, that radar is just crazy looking. Sorry, I keep looking up at crazy radar. Brands look crazy. Right. <laughs> wow, Vigorous Bull. Vigorous Bull apparently has a loading wagon. That has wings that pick up uh, stones. That seems a little... I don't know. Cheaty? Too enhanced for me, maybe? Not my cup of tea. Let's put it that way, okay? Not my cup of tea. You know, with two of us going with this, it's not bad, especially because we're we're pretty much staying up with the plow here. You know, we really are. Oh, Mickey went and got their uh, faster tractor. That's what Mickey did. Okay, not a bad idea. This is fine. But see, now look, we're caught up to sand camp, and I can't even go. Up my next pass anyway. We should get a lot sand camp get ahead of us, but what is that? What fun is that? Put that thing in high gear, Sam. Come on. Turbo speed. Or something like it. Alright. Let's go. 